Welcome back to Smokey's Plus. In this video, we're here at Paula Dean's Family Kitchen. We're going to try the breakfast. I'll let you know, is it worth the cost? Let's get started. So we just got back to the car. Uh, we just had Pola Deans. That was your first time having it. I've had it a few times. I've had it for breakfast. I've had it for, for like uh, dinner. Um, this is your second time on this trip having like a family style eating experience. What do you think of, of that? Um, as we kind of discussed earlier, it's, it's nice to be able to um, pick a few different things. Uh, like if you can't figure out what you want, it is nice to be able to select a few different things um, so you have a bit of a variety at your table too yeah so I guess if you're an indecisive eater a place like this is nice because you can um, choose several things and, and not feel bad about not eating a particular part of it um, you saw our spread and the one the ones that we picked um, the I've had a really good breakfast ex breakfast I've had a really good breakfast experience um, before here at Paula Deans, and this one was 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 a little off. It felt like uh, a lot of the stuff came out kind of maybe overcooked, or like had been sitting there for a while. Um, nothing was overly. And you know, we said it was quantity over quality today. Would, would that be a fair assessment? Yeah. And with things being like we were talking about being mass produced, that you might. I mean, this is my first time, so I can't speak from experience, but you might run into it being overcooked or, or sitting for a while just because of the the fact that it is being uh, produced in mass quantities so I don't know if you could, yeah. would run into that again or not but now the being produced in mass qual quantities usually is going to help too with with service speed the amount of uh, time that, that it takes for the food to get to your table um, our waiter was awesome he was super friendly and, and helpful um, when we wanted to refill on something they they would they would bring it if you've never been to Paula Dean's before you do choose several dishes for the entire table they will bring you as many times as you want I don't believe there's any kind of like limit to so if it. you're a very hungry person uh, especially for breakfast well I guess it's not just breakfast yeah you, lunch dinner you really want a heavy breakfast you could you get your money's worth very easily yeah getting your money's worth I don't think is a problem people will always say well, they're overpriced but like it's all in what you want so if you want a large quantity of food um, you know you could go to like a Reagan's which they they have a, a breakfast bar and it's much cheaper and and, and probably have a, a similar experience as far as filling up on food but um, you know 
I, I don't know. Like, it's worth it to me. The the price isn't the isn't the problem. It, it's probably the quality. And if you're wanting like the best breakfast in in the, in the Smokies, this isn't going to be it. Um, but they'll refill as much as you want on food. You just can't take any of those extras home. They won't allow you to like box it up and take it home. You have to eat what you can while you're there. So an average experience there. Um, this time, not not disappointed, but just not blown away either. Would you say? Easily, yeah. So. Um, take that for what you will. Some people absolutely love Paula Deen's. Other people are hate it, hate it. So, um, not sure where you fall on it. If you've had it before, leave a comment down below. We would love to to hear your thoughts on, on Paula Deen's. If you've had breakfast or lunch or dinner, but that'll do it. This has been another video from the Grace Mickey Mountains. We hope you have a great day. God bless.